today I am making a video on, uh, on how to make a desktop background just like this one so the software you will be using is adobe photoshop uh, cs5 you could uh, make this background with uh, any version of adobe uh, photoshop and so first we have to open up adobe photoshop and you could uh, make it look more better by adding some uh, downloading and adding some new brushes from online uh, i'll give you the link to download it in the description Okay, uh, so once it opens up, uh, you want to go to File and uh, click New. File and click New, or you could just press Ctrl N. And uh, if you want, uh, you could name it anything you want. I'll just name it Background. And uh, preset should be set in Custom width and height you want to check it first you want to go to your desktop uh, right click on it and click uh, screen resolution uh, and you want to make um, s uh, note down your current screen resolution which you are using uh, for me it is 11366 and 768 1366 and 68 and you don't want to change anything else and make uh, make sure it is the background contents in white and hit ok uh, so once that pops up you want, uh, you want to choose your gradient tool you might be having your paint bucket tool so you want to right click on it and hit gradient tool and click on the small arrow and make sure it is from the foreground to background and then choose your foreground color as black and background color as a dark gray and uh, click from the middle of the document and drag it out to the top right You could do it several times till you get it correct. Okay, so this is perfect. And then you want to choose your text tool. And you want to choose your uh, font which you want. I'll be using Street Soul, and uh, it should be set as regular, regular, and 100 points if you're using the uh, resolution which I'm using. And make sure it's set to crisp. Uh, align it to the left. And text color I will be using a dark red. Click anywhere on the document and type your name or how you write and place it anywhere on the background and hit OK the OK button. Uh, just just click on the top right and then you want to press Ctrl A or go to the selection tool, select the whole thing and click on the move tool and you can see this uh, tool in the top. Um, you want to click. Uh, this one and this one that's the middle one for both of these uh, to align the text in the middle then press ctrl d 
to deselect and uh, make sure it's clicked on the text document and then if you want to add a stroke for it go to the effects blending options and then go to stroke and uh, position should be outside blending option normal blending mode and opacity 100 fill type should be color and i am using a uh, white color and size you can set how much you want to uh, it feels right and it's done then you want to create a new layer and choose your brushes tool and for this step you will be using the basic brushes which can be installed with Adobe Photoshop uh, I'll be using size 36 then zoom into your text and now what you want to do is create a border for your text Sorry. Uh, you want to make sure it's black color and then start creating a border for your text Uh, just a rough one will do because uh, once you are done doing this in the next step you can choose and uh, you can uh, make the adjustments you want for now just make a rough line and then you see this uh, small eye uh, type of button over here that's the visibility you turn it off for your text and then uh, fill up the rest uh, inside of the Mila, you need. Uh, and if you are a guy who makes a lot of mistakes, you want to go to edit preferences go to performance and then set your uh, history stats to 100 history stats to 100 and so even if you make a uh, thousand mistakes you can undo it by pressing ctrl alt and z for windows users and command alt Z for master. Then uh, once you're done doing that, um, you want to turn the visibility back on for your text and drag this new layer. Uh, below your text layer and above your background and now you make sure it's uh, selected on that uh, new layer which you need new layer 1 mm, and make the adjustments you need Okay, uh, so once you are done making the uh, adjustments, you want to create a new layer again. And this layer is going to be, um, make sure this layer is below that new layer one. And in this layer, you are going to add some brushes. Which you are going to add from the net. And in this layer, I am going to use some splatter brushes. Mm. 
and uh, when you're using your brushes you want to make sure the opacity is 200 more normal flow and it's, uh, flow also normal If you don't have a lot of brushes, you could even use the same brush by going uh, by changing its angle by using the brush options. And go to brush and flip Y axis. And flip, uh, flip X axis and then flip Y axis to make it upside down. Okay, so uh, once you're doing, uh, done doing that, you want to make a new layer again. Uh, that's going to make the dropping spray paint effect from the text. So choose. Um, so this you want to make a new layer if you want to make some feature adjustments later. And select the size you want. Okay, uh, so once you're done adding uh, the brushes you want, uh, you wanna go to the file options, save as, and name it whatever you want. I'm gonna be using graffiti background 2 because I already have one there. And you wanna make sure the format is in JPEG. And then save. And uh, quality should be all in default and press OK. And uh, so you have finished saving it. And close it. And uh, open the place where you saved it. Like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And that's all.